108 facts about the 108 Glarian Pokemon. And this video is sponsored by War Thunder, but we'll get into that in a bit. Let's do this. Grookey. Despite being a starter Pokemon, it took 51 whole episodes before Grookey appeared in the anime, which was a year and a half after Journeys debuted. Thwacky. Excluding Shinies, Thwacky is the only naturally colored lime green Pokemon. Rillaboom. Rillaboom, the drummer Pokemon, cannot learn the move Belly Drum. Also, despite being a gorilla, it doesn't get the ability Gorilla Tactics. Score Bunny. Score Bunny is the only fire type starter Pokemon that cannot learn the move Flamethrower by level up. Raboot. Raboot is one of the very few Pokemon that have devolved in the anime, and in this case, it was caused by Dialga and Polkia battling each other. Cinderace. Cinderace probably has a bigger ego than Ash's Charizard because if she'll desert you say that while it gets pumped when cheered on, it gets put in a tight spot if it starts showboating. Sobble. It is said that Sobble's tears have the chemical punch of 100 onions, so whenever it cries, everything around it will start to cry too. Drizzile. In the manga, a Drizzile makes tear gas bombs out of his chemical powered tears, which is pretty dang clever and fits with his 007 villain theme. Inteleon. Inteleon is based on James Bond, and just like James Bond, it is very lethal. For instance, its tail is as sharp as a knife and can quickly take out an opponent, not to mention it becomes a literal sniper when it gigantamaxes. Squavit. Squavit are the prey of gumshoes. In other words, Squavit are what gumshoes hunt if there are no lone ratatas around. Greedon. Whenever a Greedon is shown receiving damage, a level berry is seen falling out of its tail. Rookidee. Rookidee soars Daisuji states that every time it gets defeated, it becomes a little stronger. So basically, Rookidee is a Super Saiyan. Corvusquire. Corvusquire's sword Daisuji states that it is known to use tools in battles, like throwing rocks or using vines to entangle its opponent. But that doesn't make that much sense because Corvusquire can't learn the moves Rock Throw or Vine Whip, which is basically what it'd be doing, right? Corvid Knight. Corvid Knight can be based on the Black Bird sprite that appeared when flying in the previous games. Just look at it, looks nearly identical. Blip Bug. Blip Bug is the exact height as both middle stage and final stage evolutions. Dottler. Upon evolving, Dottler learns the most moves out of any other Pokemon, with the three moves being Reflect, Light Screen, and Confusion. Orbeetle. It is said that Orbeetle can detect anything within a six mile radius with his mind. And I mean everything, even you, right now, watching this video, possibly doing something else while you're watching this video. It knows. It knows everything. Nicket. The reason why Nicket's tail is so bushy is because it sweeps away his tracks while walking to stay undetected. Thievil. Thievil are known to have Bolton and Lypard as their natural enemies, which might be a reference to the movie The Fox and the Hound. Gossifleur. Gossifleur just might be the only Pokemon that is able to poison its opponent while not being able to learn any poison type moves. And it's all thanks to its ability to affect Spore, which has a chance of poisoning the opponent on contact. And before we move on to the rest of the Galar Pokemon, this video is sponsored by War Thunder. Yeah, War Thunder is a free epic multiplayer game about confrontation between epic thunderous vehicles in a war. If you like driving tanks, flying jets, sailing naval vessels, or even looking at anime waifus in the middle of a war, then War Thunder is for you. Wait, l looking at anime waifus? Oh yeah, even though everything about this game is based on authentic military vehicles, it also offers several ways to customize your combat machines, including anime waifus. Well, I guess it's kind of realistic since Japan literally has helicopters with manga girls on them, but what's with the giant pillow? Um, actually it's called a Dakimakura pillow and it's there for moral support during an epic thunderous war in War Thunder. Like, we're in a war, man. I need to hug some anime girls out here. Right, well, I gotta say, this game looks pretty awesome. The graphics are top notch, the physics seem to align with real life, and best of all, it's free. So, what's there to lose? Exactly, now you're getting it. You can play with 10 different nations on maps all across the world, spanning from Africa to Alaska with anime waifus. This really is the best war simulator out there. Yeah, so download War Thunder today for free on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC using my link down below in the description. And if you use my link, you will get that epic Dakimakura pillow and other bonuses too. Yeah, you don't want to pass up on that Dakimakura pillow, I'm telling you right now. It's awesome. And big shout out to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Eldegoss. Eldegoss is the highest level Pokemon from the first gym in any game, with it being in Milo's gym at level 20. Wooloo. Wooloo's Destiny states that is so fluffy that it can survive a fall off a cliff without any injuries. But in Pokemon Twilight Wings, this very thing happened, and Hoss Wooloo is shown clearly injured. So whoever wrote this is a liar. Liar! Dubwool. Dubwool's horns are only used to attract mates and never see use in battle. And fitting enough, it can't learn any horn-based moves like Horn Leech, Horn Attack, or Horn Drill. Trudel. In the Pokemon world, there's a children's game that involves getting Trudel to bite down on sticks and seeing which one can hold on the longest, which seems to be a lot of fun. Dreadnaw. Even though Dreadnaw has a very draconic dinosaur-like tail, it cannot learn the move Dragon Tail by TM, even though its pre-evolution, Trudel can, with that stubby tail, which is very strange. Yamper. To absorb electricity, Joltik are known to attach themselves to Yamper's butt, which is pretty cute. 
Boltun. Boltun's Japanese name is Pulse One, which is a direct reference to an old Game Freak game called Pulse Man. Roly Coley. Between 100 to 400 years ago, every Galar home was powered by Roly Coley, which seems a lot safer and effective than what Chairman Rose was trying to do with Eternatus, the little embodiment of death. Carcoal. In the Galar mine, there's a Carcoal that appears on the minecart tracks. And cool enough, this Pokemon is actually encounterable. Colossal. Colossal has a crazy setup in double battles, and all it requires is a simple water type move hitting it and an item. And then boom, its people will be maxed due to its ability, and its item weakness policy will kick in, doubling its defensive stats. Applin. Applin is known as the Apple Core Pokemon, which means that it's not the apple itself, but the worm hiding inside of it. And if you're wondering why it's a dragon, it's because it's a pun on the word worm, which is a type of dragon in folklore. Flapple. It is stated that Flapple with clay colored wings are strong and have won many battles. Yet we haven't seen such a Flapple in the games or in the anime. So perhaps all of the Flapple that we've seen are relatively weak, and maybe this will be a regional form in the future. Appleton. Appleton Swordesigy states that it uses a sweet scent to learn bug Pokemon it preys upon. But last I checked, Appleton is a grass type, which will make it weak to bugs. Silicobra. According to a sword dexter tree, Silicobra's pouch fills up with sand as it digs, and can hold up to 17 pounds of sand, which means that Silicobra eats its weight in sand every time it digs, since it only weighs 16.8 pounds. Sandaconda. Sandaconda's Scarlet Destiny marks the 10th time a Pokemon demolishes or moves a dump truck using force, with the others being Aeron, Darmanitan, Pangaro, Machoke, Galarian Zapdos, Donphan, Gigalith, Buzzhole, and Gudra. This probably means that being a dump truck driver in the Pokemon world is extremely dangerous. Cramorant. Cramorant's Japanese name is Uu, which is tied for the shortest Japanese name in all of Pokemon, with the other Pokemon being Cletha, with the name Pi. Aracuda. Aracuda is the only Pokemon to be officially revealed from the inside of another Pokemon's mouth, which is pretty funny. Barrascuda. Barrascuda are known to eat Wingle, which is pretty ironic since Wingle are known to eat fish like Finneon and Wishy Washy. Toxel. Toxel is a baby Pokemon, and the first baby Pokemon we've gotten since Generation 4. Toxtricity. The form of Toxtricity that Toxel evolves into is dependent on the Toxel's nature, but interestingly, if you change its nature with a mint, it will still evolve into the Toxtricity it was originally going to evolve into. Sizzlepeed. Sizzlepeed is said to share a common ancestor with Scorpy, making them cousins of some kind. Cinescorch. In the manga, it is shown that Cinescorch can turn off the flames on his head, and this is what it looks like. Clobopus. It's chilled that she states that Clobopus's tentacles tear off easily, but also regrow easily, making this one of 23 different Pokemon that have the ability to regrow missing body parts, with the other Pokemon being Krabby, Crawdont, Clauncher, Crab Brawler, and Cloth with their claws, Croconok, Axu, Sharpedo, Walrin, and Gibble with their teeth or tusks, Sandslash with its spikes, Skarmory with its wings, Staryu, Tangro with Corsola, Tentacle, and Slowpoke with their limbs or tail, Belooza with its flesh, Mortal and Blasphemy with their heads, and Cottony and Arbok with their bodies. Grap locked. For some odd reason, the Galar Police logo features a grap lock, even though we never see any policemen in the game with one. Sinisty. A shiny authentic Sinisty with a rare mark is one of the rarest encounters in all of Pokemon, with the odds being a 1 in 136 million chance of happening. Y'all should definitely check out my rarest Pokemon of all time video if you haven't already. Pultigeist. There are fanatics who drink Pultigeist's tea every day, even though the tea could potentially fatally poison them. Kinda reminds me of the Horn and Fin enthusiasts of Seeking. Hatena. Hatena is the only Pokemon to get Nuzzle as an egg move, making it the only non legend type Pokemon that can learn it. Hatrim. Hatrim shall Desiji states that it can knock out a professional boxer with one blow from its braid, which doesn't make a lot of sense because its attack stat is the slowest stat, and even lower than a lot of fighting type Pokemon who are actual boxers. Hatterene. Hatterene's main method of transportation is short distance teleportation, but it can't even learn the move teleport, so that doesn't really make sense either. Impidimp. Impidimp is based on the Lincoln Imp, which is a gargoyle in Ingles Lincoln's Cathedral, and it is said in legend that the devil sent this creature to the church but was turned to stone by an angel. Morgrim. Morgrim will get down on all fours and beg for forgiveness if it loses a battle, but if the opponent gets close enough, it will stab them with a spear-like hair, which, I'm not gonna lie, is pretty evil. Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is known as a bulk-up Pokemon, and unsurprisingly, it is probably the best Pokemon to learn bulk-up, since its prankster ability grants the move priority, allowing it to tank up before the opponent strikes. Zizagoon. It is said that the Galarian Zizagoon is the oldest form of Zizagoon, which means that the Hoenn form is the real regional variant. Lanoon. The reason Galarian Lanoon can evolve into Obstagoon and the Hoenn ones can't is because Galar has a harsher environment, which is honestly kind of surprising because the Hoenn region faced events like, I don't know, the end of the world? Is that not enough for you, Hoennian Lanoon? Obstagoon. Pangoro has a destiny that states that it lives for duels with Obstagoon, and given that Obstagoon is a dark normal type while Pangoro is a part fighting type, we can all guess how these duels usually end. 
Meowth. Galarian Meowth came to be this way due to parts of it turning into iron after many years of living with a race of savage sea fears, which basically confirms that Vikings exist in the Pokemon world. And even better, the Meowth from Team Rocket has cosplayed as a Viking before in the anime, so maybe this was inspiration for it. Berserker. For whatever reason, Berserker cannot learn the move Flash Cannon or Aerial Ace by TM, but his pre-evolution, Galarian Meowth, can. Corsola. Galarian Corsola is arguably better in battle than his evolution, since it's one of the best physical walls with the item Eviolite in the moves Will-O-Wisp and Strength Sap. Cursula. Cursula has by far the largest stat decrease in a single stat upon evolving, as it loses 50 points in its defense stat, which is pretty insane. Farfetch'd. Galarian Farfetch's evolution method is to land three critical hits in a single battle. However, if a wall Galarian Farfetch does the same thing and then is caught, it will not evolve, despite meeting the necessary conditions. Surfetched. The director of Sword and Shield, Shigeru Amori, denied that Surfetched was inspired by the scrapped evolution for Farfetch from Gold and Silver, which is kind of hard to believe because just look at them. They look pretty similar to me. Mr. Mime. The glaring Mr. Mime found in Windun is named Marcel, which is a direct reference to the first Pokemon games where you can trade an Abra for Mr. Mime that is also named Marcel. Mr. Rhyme. The face on Mr. Rhyme's belly can change expressions, as seen in the manga. Just look at it, it's an angry belly. Yamask. Galarian Yamask is technically the only Pokemon that requires a specific location to evolve, since all the previous area-based Pokemon were reckoned to be stone-based instead. Runarigus. This is what Runarigus looks like when it assembles itself into a complete coffin. The painting on it looks like a snake Pokemon we've never seen before. Ponyta. During the 24-hour YouTube livestream of Gloomwood Tangle, a Galarian Ponyta appeared with no tail, and no one knows why. Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash is known for using Psycho Cut, and that it can punch a hole through a thick sheet of steel, which must mean that it's a pretty strong psychic given that steel is resistant to it. Weezing. Galarian Weezing learns the most self KO moves out of any other Pokemon, with the moves being Self Destruct, Explosion, Memento, and Misty Explosion. It must hate life. Derumaka. Galarian Derumaka's level up learn set is identical to Unovian Derumaka's, except that all of his fire type moves were replaced with ice type moves. Just look at it for yourself. It's pretty cool, actually. Darmanitan. Zen Mode Galarian Darmanitan's Dexistry states that it literally melts its own body with flames it spews out, which is pretty horrifying. Stunfisk. Galarian Stunfisk is the only Steel type fish Pokemon there is. Slowpoke. Galarian Slowpoke has a different cry compared to his Kanto form, making it the only original Pokemon to not have the same cry. Just listen. Slowbro. Pokemon Go is the only game to feature both Mega Evolution and Galarian forms, confirming that regional variants like Galarian Slowbro cannot Mega Evolve, even though Zandu form can. Slow King. The official Pokemon website states that Galarian Slow King's Shelter puts other psychic Pokemon to shame, and I would say quote unquote other psychic Pokemon would include ones like Alakazam and Mewtwo, which if true is pretty insane. Milstery. There are so many factors that go into what kind of alchemy Milstery will evolve into. It depends on the type of sweet you give it, the time of day, how long you spend it for, and whether you spend clockwise or counterclockwise. And with all of that, it allows for 63 different forms of alchemy. Alchemy. With all of its flavors, Alchemy holds a record for having the most Pokédex entries within a single set of games, with it having a whopping 20 different Pokédex entries between Sword and Shield. Phalanx. Phalanx could have been partially inspired by the Octopi from the Metroid series, because just look at them, they kinda look similar. Pinchurchin. Despite it being literally based on a sea urchin, Pinchurchin cannot learn the move Pin Missile. Snom. Snom is the only ice type Pokemon that cannot learn the move Blizzard, because it's so Frostmoth. Frostmoth and its pre evolution are the only Pokemon that can be knocked out from full HP with one switch in solely due to entry hazards, and all it takes are Stealth Rocks, G Max Steel Surge, and three layers of spikes. Stone Journer. If you look closely at the double crosses on Stone Journer's legs, they are the same pattern that can be found on the large rocks in Turf Field, though these rocks are larger and darker gray, so it might be possible that these are the remains of deceased Stone Journer. Ice Q. Ice Q's Ice Face ability caused a glitch that allowed Rollout's damage multiplier to be applied to other moves, which would have been insanely broken if left unpatched, maybe even resulting in a damage count larger than Suckles. Ndidi. Ndidi is the only Pokemon that gets a different egg mood depending on whether it's a male or female, with the moves being Extrasensory or Heal Pulse. Marpeko. Marpeko is the only electric type Pokemon that's ever been caught by Jesse and James. They probably didn't catch one for so long because they were so focused on stealing Ash's Pikachu. Q-Fan. Q-Fan can carry 50 times its own body weight, which would be nearly 6 tons, which, funny enough, is the weight of an actual elephant. Copperaya. Copperaya replaced the Indian elephant mission in Raichu's Dysentry, as seen in Legends Arceus. So whenever we inevitably get an Indian-based region, we'll for sure see a ton of Copperaya there. Dracozolt. Dracozolt technically doesn't exist in the Pokemon anime, and is only seen as a theoretical concept for reviving a set of fossils. Artazolt. According to his shield dex entry, Artazolt went extinct due to his slow movement, which is kind of insane given that his base speed stat is 55, and there are hundreds of Pokemon who are slower than it. So I guess all these Pokemon will eventually go extinct. Sorry, so relax. 
Dracovish. Dracovish is chill death she states that it can't breathe unless it's underwater. Yet, every living Dracovish we see in the games, manga, and the anime are on land, alive, and well. Maybe they're all internally suffering or are zombies. Artovish. Artovish and the other Gallon fossils are the only fossil Pokemon in the franchise to not be part rock type. Darulodon. Darulodon is based on the tallest skyscraper in the UK known as the Shard. And I was actually there, kinda. Here's a picture. Dreepy. Dreepy is stated in a shield destiny to be so weak that a child could defeat it, which is pretty nuts when thinking about it. Draclock. Draclock shield destiny states that if it doesn't have a Dreepy to take care of, it will become uneasy and desperately try to replace it with another Pokemon. I wonder what kind of Pokemon Draclock would pick in that case. A Pikachu? Dragapult. Dragapult signature move Dragon Darts is one of two moves that have a different animation depending on if the user is shiny or not, with the other move being Mind Blown. Zacian. Even though Zacian doesn't have a gender, it is often referred to as the oldest sister to Zamazenta in Galarian Legends. So basically, it's a grill. Zamazenta. Both Zamazenta and Zacian are unable to Dynamax. Even Pokemon like Mew or Ditto that transform into them cannot as well. Even Pokemon like Zoroark who allude to be Zamazenta or Zacian can't. I guess no matter what, these legendaries will never feed off their nemesis' power, Eternatus. Eternatus. The wishy stars that the player receives in the beginning of the game are actually pieces of Eternatus' body imbued with his power. So you're basically wearing his dead skin, or something. Cubfu. The only legendary Pokemon that could either be male or female are the Cubfu line and Heatran. Urshifu. Urshifu doesn't like mushrooms, which is the reason why you're unable to feed an Urshifu Max Soup without first adding Max Honey. Zarud. The pink shawl that Dada Zarud wears actually has Selby's national Pokedex number, and even matches Selby's shiny colors, which might mean that these two mythical Pokemon are connected somehow. Regieleki. A shield that she states that Regieleki is capable of creating all of Galar's electricity, which is yet another reason why Chairman Rose is stupid. Reggie Drago. It is said that Reggie Drago has the power of every dragon Pokemon, but I'm gonna call Cap on this one because in the games, there are dragon moves that it can't even learn, especially signature moves. But cool enough, in the training card game, this runs true, since his V-Star card has a move that allows it to use any dragon Pokemon's attack. Articuno. Galarian Articuno has to be based on Superman, because just look how it levitates. It looks exactly how Superman would, not to mention that it shoots laser beams out of his eyes. Zapdos. The Galarian legendary birds' destitutes hint that they were not named after the Kanto birds, but for other reasons, like Galarian Zapdos' feathers making crackling sounds like lightning. And keep in mind, Zapdos' Japanese name is Thunder. Moltres. The official Sword and Shield website states that Galarian Moltres and the other legendary birds only appear in the Crown Tundra once every few decades. Talk about incredible luck and plot armor for the protagonist to be around as they show up. Glastrier. There's a popular theory that Glastrier and Spectrier came from a Galarian Rapidash that perished in the snow, with Glastrier being the frozen corpse and Spectrier being its ghost. Spectrier. Spectrier is the only pure ghost type Pokemon that has no evolutions. Calyrex. When Calyrex Dynamaxes, it gives off a blue aura instead of the usual red, which might imply that it uses its own power to the Dynamax instead of relying on Eternatuses, which is pretty dang awesome. And that's every Galar Pokemon, but as a bonus, I'm gonna go over the Hisuian Pokemon as well. So, starting with Decidueye, Hisuian Decidueye evolves at a later level than Alone Decidueye, implying that maybe Hisuian Decidueye are more expert archers than their Alone counterpart, since they require more experience. Typhlosion. Hisuian Typhlosion can emit up to 108 ghostly flames, which incidentally is the same number of soul spirit to consists of. Could this mean Hisuian Typhlosion is. Samurott. Hisuian Samurott's dark typing is most likely inspired by the fact that his Japanese name basically means Great Sword Demon. Growlithe. Just like its Ketonian counterpart, Hisuian Growlithe cannot learn the move Growl, even though his name is Growlithe. It still makes no sense. Arcanine. Hisuian and Arcanine are based on Kamainu, which are statues in Japan that depict lion dogs, which actually makes a lot of sense that with Hisuian Arcanine. Voltorb. According to the official Legends Arceus website, Hisuian and Voltorb are actually very friendly and get so excited that they accidentally shock Hisuian people. Unfortunately though, this really annoyed the Hisuian people and caused them to plug the Hisuian Voltorb's holes and kick them out of their settlements, which explains why Hisuian Electro seems angry all the time. Electrode. Hisuian Electro confirms that the Voltorb line came before Pokeballs were invented, since it's one of the 10 ancient Pokemon that received a blessing from Arceus itself. Quillfish. Hisuian Quillfish is one of three Pokemon that has a visible letter on its body, with the other two being Mega Camerupt and Wishcash. Of course, not counting unknown. Overquill. Overquill was hinted at in the Kindalove Library in the Center Remix. It was remarked as a sea legend. Sneasel. Hisuian Sneasel is the only case of a Pokemon in which its regular form and its regional variant are naturally encounterable in the same game. Sneasler. Sneasler's Pokedex history states that this Pokemon is undefeatable while in its own habitat, which is pretty insane if true. Lilligant. Despite the fact that Hisuian Lilligant is known for its dancing, it can't learn as many dance moves via level up as its Unovian form, which doesn't really make that much sense. 
Basculin. Hasui's white stripe Basculin completes the Basculin trifecta, since the red, white, and blue colors represent the American flag, which is where the Unovan region is based in. Basculin Legion. Basculin Legion is the only Pokemon to have all five vowels in its name. Zora. Hasui and Zora in its evolution are the only Pokemon to be immune to both of the stab typings. Zoro Arc. The reason why Zoro Arc has red marks all over his body is because it canonically cuts itself when attacking. Bravery. Hasui and Bravery may be a psychic type, but funnily enough, it can only learn one psychic type move naturally, which is Esper Wing. Sligu. Hasui and Sligu has a redundant level up learn set, since it gets both Acid Armor and Shelter, which in Generation 9 does the exact same thing, so what's the point? Gudra. Whenever Hasui and Gudra attacks, it retreats back into a shell like this, which is pretty cute. Avalug. The noble Hasui and Avalug in the boss fight is so large that it's similar in size to a Dynamax Avalug. Wordeer. Wordeer marks the first time a Pokemon from a previous generation got a new evolution since Pokemon X and Y. Cleavor. It is entirely possible to have a cleaver with a Galar symbol. All you gotta do is catch a Scyther and Galar, transfer it to Legends Arceus, and evolve it there. Ursaluna. Ursaluna's first name is Ursa King, which I'm not gonna lie, I think I like that more. And finally, Enamorous. Enamorous is supposedly the embodiment of love and hate, yet it can't learn the move Attract. And there you go, 108 fast but the 108 Galar Pokemon. And if you want to help out with the next video in this series, leave some comments down below about the Paldean Pokemon. The more obscure the fact is, the better. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I have done one fact for every Pokemon up until the Paldea region. And you can start from the Kanto region right here. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.